my name is Lynn. Welcome to the Digital Surf School. Today we're filming lesson number two, how to paddle. Today we don't have such great filming conditions. It's very hazy, it's not very pretty today, it's quite dark because we have the East Sirocco winds at the moment coming over from the African desert. And so all that African sand is up there in the sky so it's blocking it a little bit. But I think we're going to make the video anyway because I don't want to disappoint you guys. I want to keep making a video every week if I can. So here we go, here's the video for today. So let's talk about position on the board. If you like to flat the front of the board, the nose is going to go down under the water. If you like to flat the back, the tail is going to go down and then you're effectively just pushing water and you paddle as well, so that's no good either. Another thing you have to be aware of when you're lying on the board is be careful not to lie too far on the left or too far on the right. Make sure your body is always in the centre of the board. That's where all the balance is on the board, always in the centre. So let's lie down. Check you're not too far on the right, check you're not too far on the left. Some boards do have a line down the centre like this one, but not all do. And the other thing that's very important to check is your position. Check your feet. Like my feet now are nowhere near where they should be. And a lot of people when they lie down, they do lie down somewhere near the middle or near the nose. So check your feet. If your feet aren't near the end of the board, move them back. Move back, move back, move back, find the play. There it is. So it might feel a bit strange the first time you lie on the board and you say like, wow, I feel like I'm a really long way back on my board. Look how much board I have there. But at the end of the day, this is the place where you want to lie. This is where you're going to have the correct balance. If you lie any further forward than this, you're going to be too heavy on the nose and the nose is going to go straight under the water. So now we have the correct position on the board. Let's talk about the paddling. I mean, paddling looks pretty easy, right? How hard can that be? But there is a little bit more to it than just that. So let's start with the basics. Um, first of all, if you lie too flat on the board, what's going to happen is automatically you lift your shoulders so that you can paddle. Then what happens is your shoulders start to get really tired. After 10 or 15 minutes, you're going to have a real ache there across the back of your shoulders. And like this, you know, your paddle's not as good either. If you lift your chest up from the board, all right, now what happens? Firstly, you can breathe so much better, right? If you're not lying on your chest, you need that oxygen. When you're exercising, any kind of exercise, especially in the ocean, you know, you really need to be able to get the oxygen in and out of your body so your muscles can work well. So lift your chest up, bring your shoulders down, make sure they're relaxed, and you're gonna paddle like that. Now, if you watch my arms, you're gonna see now my arms reach a lot further than before. I have a very long paddle, but I'm using less effort. My shoulders don't get so tired so fast. So that's a very good tip, right? Don't lie down, scrunching your shoulders, short paddles. Keep yourself up, breathe deeply, relax. Really long strokes. The second thing you can do is use your pelvis. So what you're gonna, I'm gonna show you now, if you watch what I do here, I'm gonna put my butt down, put my pelvis to the board, like that. If I do that before I lift up my chest, this is going to support my spine really well so my back doesn't get tired. You probably found that with paddling a lot out there in the ocean. Shoulders get tired, back gets tired. So now you have two tips to help save your shoulders and your spine there as well. The other thing that happens when you do this pushing the pelvis down to the board is it holds the board still. It gives you much better balance. First time you lie on a surfboard, it can be quite tricky just to lie on it and to paddle on it. It's quite easy, you know, you paddle, roll off the board into the water, get back on again, try again, that's fine. It's all about practice and trial and error, you know? But don't worry about that, keep practicing it. But that's a tip that will help you. Keep that pelvis down to the board, stick it down. That's gonna hold the board really level for you. It's gonna make it a lot easier to paddle. I have one last tip for you before I go about how to paddle. And that's gonna be don't paddle too fast. When you're lying down there and the wave is coming or you're moving around or whatever thing, if you move your arms too quickly, your hands are actually going to move faster than the water that you're pulling, which means that in the end you're actually going to move slower. Does that make sense? You know, like if you can move your hands a little bit slower, but you do a longer paddle, control. Alright, you're actually going to move faster with a longer, slower paddle than if you do a short you know, panicky one. It's not gonna work anywhere near as good. You know, paddling around like a like a little doggy out there. It's not really gonna work. Make sure you have long controlled 